Okay, so this is Batman running on the PC Engine, released in 1989 by Sunsoft and based on the movie of the same name. Now, what's interesting is Sunsoft did the version on the NES, which is, you know, a very, very good solid representation of the film. Pretty hard game, though. And they also did the version on the Mega Drive. Hands down, one of my favourite Mega Drive games of all time. Music is absolutely fantastic. So what's kind of odd is they did a massive sort of departure from those types of uh, games, or that type of gameplay I should say, when they did it on the PC Engine. But this game is not the game we were promised. I remember seeing spoiler shots for it in the back of Me Machines and CVG. And they depicted it, there were two shots. There was one of Batman in the Batcave looking at all this cool computer shit. And the other one was a side-scrolling stage. Yeah, that's not what this game is. I don't know why they scrapped that. You know, every version of Batman I've ever played to some degree has been a 2D side-scrolling beater with some sort of, you know, car levels. The most notorious, sort of, um, impressive or famous one, I should say, is the driving sections on the Amiga A500. My brother had that, and even though I prefer the game on the Mega Drive, those sections, hands down, absolutely fantastic. Have to talk about Batman in the movies really, really quickly. The Tim Burton version of the movie is still, hands down, my favourite version of Batman out there. I think Michael Keaton is just incredible as Batman. Jack Nicholson, you know, he's a bit too old for Joker, but you cannot deny that his Joker is amazing. Batman Returns, again, I really, really like this. I used to prefer it to the original Batman, and then at some point, it swapped place. Batman Forever? Hmm, yes, yeah, start the decline, isn't it? Although, apparently, there's a rumoured R-rated version that I would like to see, but they, the, the studio shat its pants and thought, no, we're going to lose money like we did on Batman Returns, so, you know, they edited it down, plus you got that horrible, gratuitous, silver butt shot of the bat suit at the end, which is, ugh. and then you got Batman and Robin, which is just screen vomits. I mean, no wonder Boy Wonder wanted to beat Batman up in that movie. I want to beat Batman up in that movie. What a condescending, slimy, just twattish depiction of Batman. Plus, side note, who fucking has the foresight to build hockey blades into their boots? Anyway, sorry, waffling, let's have a pop at this. This game is huge, by the way. There's so many stages. And they all look like this. It's, um, it's an amazing game. Right, just get my controls. Oh. So, I don't know, it's kind of, I don't know, it reminds me of Bomberman with a touch of Bubble Bubble and the way you sort of take your enemies out. You do your attack on them, and then you, well, you just walk through them. Which in this case is clowns, respawning clowns. I mean, if you told me that when I was a kid that there was such a thing as respawning clowns, I would have shat my pants. So basically, you have to collect all the ingredients that make, you know, the toxin up that the Joker's put out there. So all these products such as hairspray, stuff like that. I mean, you know the movie. Oh, and also you get power up See, There you go. That's another one, which improves the speed of your batarang and the way you can like run around. Oh. And when you get them all, you go to the next stage. Now, the funny thing is, this game gets absolutely slated, which I think is unfair, because while it's not the game we were promised, and it, I, should it have been a 2D scroller? Yes, probably. But it is a solid and fun game, you know, and it, it, it does a very decent representation of the movie. It's just, I, you know, it's not what people wanted. But I like it, and I definitely say give it a chance, although it is a little bit pricey. Right, so like one more, one more, come on. Here we go. Personally, I think it's actually pretty impressive graphics. All these gameplays I'm doing on PC Engine at the moment, i it's such a brilliant system. While I will still always prefer the Mega Drive, you know, if I had a PC Engine back in the day, I would be equally as happy. It, you know, it's, graphically it's amazing, especially since you consider it's an 8-bit system. Anyway, this, this gameplay is by Batman, not the PC Engine. Okay. Oh, nice, pal. It's always good to... Uh, Block clowns. Ah! Right. Well, it looks like Marmite. Ooh. Is that it? Ooh. Controls are really, really nice. Nope, three more. Like, really, really nice. Pew pew! Sounds like a cheap Star Trek phaser gun. Ooh. Oh, look at that, moonwalking. Sweet, Batman can moonwalk, and of course he could. It's fucking Batman. I'm Batman. Sorry, I have to say something now, which I've just got to work into it. Where is she? 
Is that it? One more, one more. Come on. More mile, mate. Right, stage three. Do I keep my... Ah, you do keep your power-ups between stages, which is quite cool. Blue clowns. Oh, that sounds terrible. Blue clowns. Clown ball. One more, mate. Look at this. Freaking Usain Bolt. Oh! That's interesting. Sorry, I had to go back and kill the clown. The day the laughter died. Now, despite the fact that I seem to be doing remarkably well at this game, it does get proper frisky later on. Although, look at me, I'm fucking Uber Batman. Right, one more stage, and I think you get, you know, what the game's like. And then I'll call it quick. The music's really, really cool as well. Oh, sweet. Oh. Oh, oh come on. Oh, that's cool. You can move around here. Right. I only five. Oh. Because when you die, you lose the lot, mind. You have to completely start again. Oh, there's a time limit. I only just now. Let's get a little bit more sort of uh, frisky on this. Right, I can cross the... Uh, I was going to say the River of Slime, but that's the wrong movie. Same here, though. Right, two more. One more. Come on, come on. There we go. Right, stage five. I was really expecting this to be a boss stage. Oh well, I'm gonna call it quits there, but yeah, if you have a PC Engine or Turbo Graphics, I don't even know this came out in um, the States, but yeah, it is a very, very decent game, even though it's not what people expected from Batman. Anyway, thank you very much uh, for watching, and I'll see you later.